I will say let's get into it in one minute while I drink some coffee while it's hot because all the kids are napping. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are all doing great and that you guys had a great weekend and were able to get some rest and just some downtime. Um, today, as you can tell from the title, I wanted to share with you a few of our favorite games. I know with our family, we do have a little bit more of an unschooling method and I will actually be going into that in more detail in just a couple of days here. Um, so be sure to stay tuned and if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe so you be sure to not miss that video. Um, but yeah, today I'm gonna be sharing some of our favorite games. Um, our kiddos love, love, love games. <laughs> Pretty much anything in a game form, they grasp the concept of it. It could be anywhere from math to reading to, you know, most of the ones here are a lot about animals and of course geography and things like that. Um, but games are such a fun way to teach kids without realizing that they're actually learning something, <laughs> which I love. Like we've been doing a lot of geography, but I'll show you here. Um, well, we got all the continents down by using the Melissa and Doug floor puzzle and the next one we've been doing is all the location and everything like that for all the 50 states and they are doing really really well with it and it's fun when they're actually putting the pieces together but they actually grasp the concept of actually where the states are versus just looking at them on a map. So and when they're actually handling the pieces with their hands, they can put them where they go and then they can translate easier by looking at a map than the other way around. But anyway, <laughs> I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video and as always if you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually really get into it. Um, the first one I wanted to mention is Who's Hiding in the Jungle, this game right here. This is actually Ellie's favorite. She is three years old, and essentially it's almost, if you're familiar with the Spotted games, it's really similar to that. Um, and it's taking two different cards. You have a big card here, and then you have the little card. And then you have to try to find the common denominator or the common animal between the two cards. So you lay two cards out, and we do this together as a family too, and the common denominator of this one of course will be bear bear, so the first person to get the two pictures correct gets to keep it in their pile. And then they go through, um, there's a ton of cards in here as you can tell, but they go through a ton of cards, this is only half of them, and then the first, the person with the most matches at the end wins the game. It's just a really fun game, and it's something that both children as young as honestly probably a year and a half and two, as like really young, two adults can enjoy playing it together. And one of the reasons why I do love this is there's not a lot of games where as an adult you can enjoy playing as much as like the little kids. And this is definitely one of those games. So yeah, if you're looking for something fun to do as a whole family and there is no limit on how many people can play, it's honestly more fun the more people you have. Or like Ellie, she likes playing it by herself too because she likes finding all the matches herself. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend Who's Hiding in the Jungle. So the next one is actually one that I have actually talked a lot about, so it's no surprise, but it is Ocean Bingo. I did have to mention it today because it is one that we play on a regular basis. And just the amount of just sea creatures that the kids have learned by playing this game has been great. It's all kinds of really, just not, not um, just yeah, not very common fish and ocean creatures. Like that's not just like the dolphin and whale and sea otters and things like that. There's a lot of really unique things. And that's what I love about it. It's very educational and the kids have learned probably more about ocean critters than I have now. <laughs> The next game we got is actually the exact same publisher of the people that put out the, um, yeah, Ocean Bingo. <laughs> I was like, oh, I already forgot. Um, but that is Bug Bingo. It's the same publisher, Lawrence King. And we have not played this one yet. I'm kind of saving this for summer or honestly until we get the house put back together from being under construction. Um, but yeah, so this will be one of those fun little games that we can get out and start learning all of these little insects over the summer. And with Bug Bingo, it's perfect timing because we'll be learning kind of almost hands-on because we'll have a we live out in the country, so we do have more bugs here than we used to. So we'll be learning more hands-on, but at least when the kids see the bugs, they'll be able to hopefully name them. 
Another one that I also wanted to mention, um, and this is one that again I have mentioned a lot, and I actually just ordered, I saw it first to Jungle, but it hasn't come in yet. Um, but I did want to go ahead and share this one again. It's I Saw It First Ocean Game. Um, I just bought the I Saw It First Jungle, so we'll also be able to learn another 300 species of just the, um, animals that live in the jungle. Ah! Um, this is what the game board looks like. It's great, it's a family spotting game, and again, you know, um, Ellie likes it. She started playing this when she was about two and a half, and then us as adults play it. And there's no really limit on how many people can play it, however many people can fit around the board. So it's a great, great crowd game. It's a great family game, and overall, just one of our family's favorites. As I mentioned before, my kid has learned all the continents um, using a floor puzzle. And this is actually the puzzle I was talking about that we're using to learn all the 50 states with. I've really been enjoying it. And one of my also favorite things about this too, it is actually a little bit more of a difficult puzzle, even for me, <laughs> because they're not the typical puzzle pieces. They are like different shapes and different patterns and things like that. So it's a little bit more difficult to put together. So it's definitely one that they either struggle with, which is good because I do like having some complicated puzzles too. It's good for their brain development. But yeah, a lot of the pieces are like this. They go together in the actual shapes of the states. So it's not gonna be where you put all the edges together first on a typical puzzle. Um, yeah, the, all the puzzle pieces in here are all different shapes and everything. So putting it together can be a challenge, but it is a lot of fun. And the kids, like I said, know the exact shape of the states instead of the actual picture of it which makes it nice. The next thing that I got is also a new item for our family, and that is the Hello Nature activity card. It includes 30 different activities. This is the box right here, and it's anywhere from identifying seeds to toads to identifying the Big Dipper. But yeah, it's all kinds of just really, really fun cards. Um, anywhere from, you have, a, um, let's see, like nature anatomy, so you have the anatomy of a beetle right here. And you also have a challenge where you can follow the trails of like a snail. Um, but just a huge deck of cards, nature activity cards, and I like these because they're bigger. Uh, there's also a little small card deck called 52 Nature Activities. I believe it's only like $6. Um, but yeah, the kids can just take a card out of that big deck and they can pick a nature activity. Um, but I like these because these are bigger and I don't know, there's just something about them. I love them. Um, and this one is Make a Grass Whistle. I actually used to make these grass whistles all the time growing up. So that, and then on the back here, <laughs> you have a scavenger hunt but yeah and then you learn about constellations and on the back of that um, you know did you know about frogs snails carrots butterflies making a daisy chain but yeah if your kiddos love being outdoors and love anything with nature I definitely definitely recommend picking this up because this is almost like one of my favorite things too so I'm like it's kind of for mommy <laughs> but I am excited to tackle all these with the kids this summer the next game I got is definitely more of a novelty game, but I thought it would be fun for the kiddos to play. It is called Beagle or Bagel. It's the game of delicious optical illusions. <laughs> and it is literally, that's what it is. It's like roll up little doggies and bagels. And you put two cards out and the first one to actually guess the real life one instead of the bagel or vice versa, depending on how you're playing. But yeah, it's literally Beagle or Bagel. And I thought it would just be really, really fun and just a really fun, just like it, um, I don't know, like it's similar to like a good beginning version of Dutch Blitz for little kids, if that makes sense. Something that requires them to think fast and to process images quickly. So if your kiddos do um, struggle with that a little bit and you want a fun game to encourage them to think quickly or think on the spot um, and things like that, I would definitely recommend Beagle or Bagel. It's a really fun game. And I actually have played at a friend's house before, so I know it's a lot of fun, but we ourselves as a family have not done it yet because I just got it. So <laughs> I am excited to play it with my little ones. So another game that is brand, brand new to our family, it's still in the packaging, we haven't taken it out. That is Match a Leaf, it's a tree memory game. And it is what it is, you literally match the leaf to the tree. So I'm excited to get this out, especially in the summer, and then we can learn all about the different trees and everything. And like I said, my kiddos learn really, really well when it comes to games, and being able to learn all the trees and leaves and matching them together, all applying the game, is just a really, really fun thing. I know the kiddos will love it. 
So the next game I wanted to show you, they're actually just a, in a bunch of little pieces right now, um, but it is actually another bird memory game. And I know, I know, <laughs> it's like I have, I think I have like five or six different versions of memory games and three of them do have to do with birds. Um, but the kids love memory games and I feel like each one has either different birds or a different twist to it and things like that. But I love this one only because it's almost more of a keepsake one. Um, but this is a company called Maple Landmark. Um, we got these off of Etsy. Um, it's a company, a woodworking company in Vermont. But they're wood tiles um, with their little logos on the back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you trying to see? Are they beautiful? But yeah, they're actually wooden tiles and it comes with 20 different matches, I believe. Um, but yeah, they're beautiful. They're painted on there and we actually really, really um, love these. So, but yeah, it's definitely one of those keepsake games where I'll probably end up keeping for a long time since it's a little bit more pricey. And I guess for me, like when it comes to games, especially homemade, those are ones that I consider investing in because I want to be able to have it last for all my little ones. The last thing I wanted to mention today, and this is not even a game really, it's just a straight up toy, but oh my goodness. I'm gonna see if I can show this to you or if the camera will focus it, but it is a woodpecker right here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these little woodpecker little toys, but this is what it does. It, you put it up here and it really goes down the pole pecking at it. I love it. I think it is adorable. Anyway, <laughs> I know, I'll just like, I'll just sit here and watch this all day. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. Like, I have really been loving it, and the kids have been loving it, and I don't know, there's just something about this little woodpecker going down pecking the tree. I don't know. I think it's cute. <laughs> anyway, um, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, and as always, if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and as always, I'd love to have you join our family, and you could do so by subscribing down below. But yeah, like I said, my next video will be more about the unschooling method and what we do with that as our family, what it means to us, and things like that, and I hope you guys come back and watch that. But until then, I will see you in our next video. Bye, guys.